James, welcome to Celtic Park. I feel like this is a post-match interview and you should tell us how well the boys played. Do you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the lads. No matter, no matter what our expectations are for any game, you know, it's, I'm very pleased with them. They put a lot of effort in uh, I'm just glad. So, you know, next week we'll go again. And um, I think I'm going to stop talking about <laughs> I feel like I'm in a post-match interview. It's, it's amazing. You sound like a, a manager. You've got all the right cliches. No, but seriously, you must, in, you must enjoy coming back here whenever you can. I do, actually. What's really interesting is you meet the players and you meet the managers and they don't speak in cliches, which is like, you're, like, you're a real person. Uh, because you just, you do. It's like, you know, you, people can... Uh, I think people can just twist what they say, so they have to speak in cliches. If you want. But uh, I no, I love coming back. It's, it's an amazing thing to do. Do you always, uh, does it always bring back memories of when that you pull, pulled on the hoops yourself on that famous day? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. What an honour. Uh, it does, actually. And it makes me want to be able to do it again, but I've not been able to get back uh, for the foundation the last couple of times I've had charity matches, unfortunately. So maybe, fingers crossed, next time. You're a great supporter of the foundation. We've just revealed that they've raised £240,000 in the Christmas appeal. Incredible work from, from them all. No, it's incredible. It's, you know, the club being something that started as a charity, you know, with charitable origins, it's just important that you don't, when people say don't forget where you came from and all that, that's something you can say easily, but, you know, the foundations make me sure they actually do that in action, which is important, because otherwise they'll be far forgetting where they came from. So, no, it's an important thing to support, and it's great that they've made nearly a quarter of a million pounds. You a busy man these days? No, uh, I have been until uh, the last month, and doing tons of stuff in Canada, <clears throat> where everything seems to be getting filmed at the moment. Did It 2, and did Glass, and did X-Men all there. Um, that's all coming out this year, uh, but now I'm done. I'm done for ages, hopefully. Listen, enjoy the game today, James. Thank thanks, for, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, it's a total pleasure.